hi beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel i thank you all i want to use this medium to thank my subscribers and my viewers thank you so much please don't forget to keep subscribing and don't forget to turn on the notification button thank you so much and god bless you as you watch only of ife is really really hungry about the insecurity in Nigeria and um, also the massacre that happened at St. Francis Catholic Church Owo, in Ondo State on Sunday. Some gunmen went to the church and killed about 50-something people, both men, women, children, even pregnant women. These people are so heartless. People that came to church to worship on Sunday, that dressed up from their home just to go to church to worship, got there and ended up being killed. They saw their death with their two eyes. This is so heartbreaking. So the Oni of Ife is so, so hungry. He's so furious because if Nigeria is a country with security, all these things will not happen. He went ahead to say that what happened at Owo on Sunday was a gruesome massacre. Really, it was a massacre targeted at turning Yoruba land to a war zone. However, we, the descendants of Odudua, although peace-loving cannot be overrun in our own homes, do not be mistaken. We have the capacity and are prepared and ready to defend ourselves against all external invaders. We should all be reminded that Sunday made it one year when an invading gang of killer herdsmen killed at least over 20 persons in Igongo, Ibarapa, North Local Government of Oyo State, on a Saturday night. Leaving several houses, the palace of the Asinganga burnt in the attack while people were asleep. Oh my God. Exactly one year, when calamity like this befall us without a single trace. The interpretation is that the, inter, um, the intelligence unit of our country's security architecture is, proba is uh, probably 40. Indeed, it is 40. Or completely missing. I implore the six governors across the southeast region and other and their brothers nationwide, as well as the president Muhammad Buhari led federal government, to live up to their oath of securing Nigerians and ensuring safety of all citizens, irrespective of their age, sex, religion, or tribe. Rather than discouraging us, this will rather strengthen us, especially in our resolve to deploy manpower, resources, and technology towards the protection of lives and properties. I'm consulting with traditional rulers across the Southwest along the, uh, alongside the governors across the Southwest to come up with concrete plan to safeguard our people. We have deep obligations to them in the face of inadequate state security challenges that are threatening the fabrics of our existence. And also, he went down to pen to he, he penned down some messages to the Olowu of Owo. He said, "To my brother, the Olowu of Owo, Obajibade Bede Gesi Ogudoye the Third, and the entire Owo Kingdom, to Governor Oluwaro Timi." A Keredolu, to the Ondo state government, to the people of Owo, to the priests and parishioners of St. Francis Catholic Church, Owaluma Owo, to the families of all the victims and the entire people of Ondo state. It is my prayer that Olodumare will comfort you all and give you peace in these trying times. Honestly, my viewers, my beautiful people, Nigeria is not safe for anybody. Nigeria is not safe for anybody. I want to use this medium. I want to use this video to tell each and every one of us, if you come across this video, please get your PVC. Don't sit in your house and say that, their, your votes don't count. Our votes count. 
our vote counts. Get your PVC and rule out bad governance. Get your PVC and save lives. Get your PVC. Your PVC is your voice. Your PVC is your strength. If you sit in your house on the day of election and say that, ah, after all, they have chosen their president. It is not their president, though. We are the ones that are suffering for everything. We are the ones that are being killed. Buhari's children, no, no, no one is being attacked by, by killers, hesmen, no. All these top politicians, none of their children are being attacked. None of their children are being blown off their brain in the church. All of them are abroad, enjoying better lives. A life that other people had made safe for themselves. That is where they've run to. So if you sit in your house and say that it does not consign me, it is their own. We are the ones that are suffering for it. These people that died in the church now, this is not the first time. But I saw those death bodies and I was God. I was so hungry. I cried all through. I saw little children. You know how little children play inside the church? Children's head were blown out. Children that has brighter futures. I saw pregnant women being killed. I saw men and women being killed for doing nothing. They did not do anything. Please, our PVC is our voice. This 2023 election, vote, vote out bad government. Enough is enough. People are being killed everywhere in every part of Nigeria. Anywhere they are, even in your home, you are not safe. No longer, you're no longer safe in your own house. In the south, in the west, in the east, we are not safe. These killer headsmen have taken over. Our PVC is our voice. When we vote for good government, we will see change. Please, my people, do not say that this is their own. We are the ones that are suffering for it. None of their children are being brutalized. Please, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye.